Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm making a video on the Lenovo Legion Y700 again. Um, I actually filmed a an entire video uh, where I helped a subscriber to fix his bricked Lenovo device and I will go through that in this video. Um, he had a problem where he was sold a tablet which was the later 2024 or 2025 version of the Legion uh, Y700 um, but he tried to do the tutorial which was just for the uh, Lenovo Legion 2023 version. Uh, I don't think English is his first language so he was following the tutorial and lo and behold his device bricked uh, but because I left my email address on the uh, YouTube page he emailed me and we were able to fix it which was fantastic it was really good to see him get it back and back working but he was actually sold what's known as the fake global rom the, the tablet was actually a chinese version it was flashed without him knowing or being told to the japan nec version so even if he had a, got the 2023 version and tried it it still would have done that anyway but we'll, we'll go through that because i'm still getting comments on the original video asking if it can be done for the later uh, revisions like the 24 and 25 version it can the the reason it can is to do with region locking and also things like that if you buy it from aliexpress thinking you've got a global rom it's actually not it's a chinese version that's been flashed and that's what can create huge issues so i'm going to go through a couple of other comments and then we'll go through the uh, response that I gave to uh, one of my subscribers to help them get it fixed. So I've included on, on the video um, kind of new warnings just because, again, if people, if English isn't their people's first language, I did not want them following the tutorial. So I put big warnings saying, do not follow this. It's only for the 2023 version and only again for version under 774 uh, but I still do get okay, and then again pinned um, another user's comment about region locking um, to, to try and warn people and say this is only for this version I've left it up because these tablets still are being sold and if you happen to have a version like that then it can be done but as the Lenovo ROM moves on further and further this eventually i'll have to delete this video uh, just to make sure that no one bricks it so yeah and then there's some comparisons here so let's go into the whatsapp conversation um so basically it started that i got an email which i responded to and i said look it's going to be way quicker if you just you know um add me on whatsapp uh, and i am glad that i do leave my contact information uh, up so I'll try and censor out as much of this as possible. Well, let me go to, as I said that I'm going to be making this video. So I do have permission to uh, basically uh, say this, but I will blur out any personal information. So the email started like this. Let me just go to the email. So the emails kind of start like this, um, just very, very basic, saying, hi, I bought a Lenovo Legion Y700. Um, I've tried the RSA method and it's bricked. Uh, and as you can see, I've had at least four people that I've helped to rather rectify this problem um, or, you know, take them through ways on how to resolve it. So after this short email exchange, I basically said, add me on WhatsApp and we'll go through it. Uh, and I basically said, look, I need to know the exact model that you've bought because without that, I, I can't diagnose th the problem. So I've kind of I got to the bottom of, okay, well, what type of tablet is it? Is it a 2023 version or 2024? You know, what's the issue? Uh, and he sent me this video, which I'll play. And this is what's known as a soft brick. Uh, basically, it will boot into the this menu system fast boot menu but that's it the, the roms corrupt it it doesn't know what to do with the information so this is actually a good thing um, meaning that you you can get back out of this menu system you can flash a, a good rom and then you know uh, go from there so eventually he sent me the details of what he had bought and it says 
you know, original Lenovo Legion Y700. Um, it looked like the 2023 version because that is the, the rabbit thing is for the 2023. It turns out it actually isn't a 2023 version. So then I started to ask him, well, you know, have you ever used Fastboot? Um, how, you know, what is your depth of knowledge in Android? Have you used Fastboot, ADB? Have you ever recovered brick devices? Um, and he says, I've used a little bit of it, but not that much. So I said, okay, what we're going to have to do is use the same RSA method, but the exact same way, but change the ROM. Instead of using the global ROM, we're going to have to use the NEC ROM because he did say that when he got the tablet, it had uh, the global version or the fake global ROM, as it's called, uh, the NEC ROM. So we said, OK, let's let's go for that then. Let's use the RSA tool. Now, what you have to do, which is described in this XDA post, is delete the ROM from within the uh, folder, the folder structure and change it so it, it pulls the um, NEC ROM. So say it's in like program slash Lenovo slash RSA slash whatever, you delete that ROM and change it and put the other ROM. And then when you do the RSA, it will use that ROM instead of the, the broken one. Uh, and again, this is all laid out in the XDA post that, that we went through. So he did that. So it says, go to C program data RSA download ROMs and change it to put in uh, the, the different ROM but he tried that and still it was doing the same thing current is not bootable and th th that's because this tablet started life as a China tablet it started as a Chinese version and because he was never told he was bought, bought it thinking it was a rather Japan or global version it's not going to boot because it's a Chinese version. So what he ended up basically doing, what we back and forth emails, what he ended up doing was changing it to the Chinese version. And after he did that, look, his thumbs up working. Uh, and to be honest, I was really, really chuffed. He did say that the way he did it was with a different program called QFIL. Uh, and that's another protocol that these tablets use. Um, but the version that he ended up flashing, if I can zoom in, is the Chinese version and saying, look, pull this to go to this. Uh, and he was able to get his tablet working. QFIL is basically the, under the hood what the RSA tool uses. It's just a different way of doing it. Um, and then from that, he managed to flash the rest of the world firmware uh, to it. But I thought this was worth mentioning in a separate video because, again, I do have my email address for people who need help. Um, these are expensive tablets, and it's not nice that if you, if you just blindly follow tutorials without doing a lot of research behind it, you can end up in a predicament like that. Um, but, you know, thankfully, like I said, my email address is online. If people need help, uh, then I will help them to fix it. Um, if I can't help you over the WhatsApp, then you can send it to me. I'll fix it and send it back to you. Uh, that's another service that, that I offer. But I did think that it, you know, it's worth a separate video, uh, you know, just to bring everyone up to speed on, on that. I've, I've not made as many Lenovo videos recently because obviously my content, I want to expand and make different stuff on the repairs and home lab as well. As you can see this mess down here, I've got a whole video that I've got to sort all that out. Uh, I've currently just racked up my, rack mounted my gaming rig and I've got some new parts coming for that. So that will be a video again. Uh, but thanks for tuning into this one and if you need any help on the Lenovo Legion then my email address is below and I'll see you all soon.